guys, it's Rob from Tabletop Assault for um, our battle breakdown of uh, game one. Or ga uh, game one? Yeah, yeah. Ga game one of uh, Tabletop Assault Round Robin Tournament, Thousand Point Tournament thing stuff. Um, it was relatively close, part of it, not a lot of it. Um, Up to about turn three. Then, turn you went, then you went ahead. Yeah, because you totally forgot about the primary objectives where you can score 45 points. But you killed all my nerdlings. I have to. It's part of the job. Oh. It, I, I can't let the channel down for one. Um, but secondly is, they're nerdlings. They have to die. Yes. Yes, Maybe. exactly. Correct. Maybe. Well done. We just. Um, so, 1,000 points. Um, you don't get... Well, it looks like you get a lot for, for Necrons, but technically you don't. Um, and you get even less when you have three greater demons. I mean, if you can, why not? Who is that? Yeah, you're right. Um, and exalted them <laughs> as well. I mean, it's the only way you can run them these days. It, it just gives them that much of a power boost. And for one CP, for the potential it's, of... It's horrid. In this game specifically, minus one to hit with range attacks on Keeper of Secrets and on the Lord of Change. It's just horrid. For one CP for the entire game, yeah. that's worth. It is. I mean, I tried to do some damage to start off with, um, with uh, Doomstalker and uh, the Triac. Um, Spidery thing, yes. Um, you may, may have seen on... Uh, the tinter webs and that lot on Instagram, etc., etc., of people doing conversions of um, the Triac Stalker using the um, Canoptic Spider as well. And thanks to the guys on uh, on that lot, I did that myself um, because Triac Stalker it's nice, but with uh, the way I like to run the insect style Necron, which works really, really well, um, it's fun to, to, to make itself on there. So. These two, they were on and off. These three were on and off. I mean, the, the Forge World um, Anchorites. I don't know what to make of them. Um, they're expensive well, as they are. You only shot them, really got a chance to shoot them once. Yeah. And even then, they didn't do a huge amount because I managed to tie them up with my great and clean one for two turns. Yes, and I just tried to run away. And I mean, they, they, they did survive, uh, of course. Um, I, I just need it for speed. Um, 40 points each though. It's pretty cheap. Well, for, for, for what they are for Necron wise, a mm, mm, little bit more expensive. But um, yeah, um, Necron Warriors, as always, you have to have shed loads. Um, I had to sacrifice my Lord, and there was a particular reason for that. So you didn't hit him. Hit the thing here. Yeah, I, I thought he had an inborn save, so. I decided to pile everything into him, then he got one, uh, then he got one boat by, by one sword swing, well, a couple of sword swings from the Keeper of Secret. Yeah, it, it's just, just using him as a basic lord, nothing absolutely uh, out of order, because it's normally the, the overlord, but I like the model so much, I use it as a lord. Don't care. And when the Chronomancer comes uh, available on Kill Team, I will have a Chronomancer fully painted for, for this list, as well as a Psychomancer as well. Um, but yeah, it's. It, I just wanted to take your di uh, divert your attention away and go. Oh look, there's a Lord HQ. I mean, it, choppy, choppy. It worked. It, it worked. worked. If I hadn't stated I was putting all my attacks into him, then yes, it's a rookie that, mistake. That's it's a rookie mistake, and you won't yeah, do that again. No, I probably will. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, knowing yourself. Um, but again, guys, nerdlings is just. The great units, but my god, I annoyed. Scarabs versus Nugglings, the greatest battle of our time. And the Always longest. Will be. And the longest. Yes. Except my Nugglings can come back with a command point. And a Doomsday Bell. Um, I've got reanimation. You got Doesn't really work. you got to make all four, though. <laughs> oh, shush. Well, kill, kill two <laughs> bases, give me eight, eight dice, and be able to do it. Stop moaning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was. It, it was a tough game. Um, I mean, I, I had to change my dice. Yes, I did change my dice on there. The but dice were cursed. Yeah, they just did not want to work um, whatsoever. So I had to change the dice. 
and as soon as I changed them, uh, they started to roll really well. Why can't why I couldn't do that in the start of the game? I have no idea. Um, how did you find facing against these guys? Uh, not too bad. I completely forgot about the thralls who were just sitting on the point of the back. Excellent. Kind of the same idea like you did with my, with my nerglings at the back of the board as well. Yes. Um, but that's six and one half a dozen. It's kind of hard to get to the back line a lot of the time. Um, the the heat ray and the doomstalker. Bit of a pain. Not as much as I thought, considering I've fought it before and it was ludicrous previously. Well, I have three of them running right. That, that's true. Yes. Yeah, well, they also have two K list. Um, the one surprise I was, because I keep treating my Lord of Change as a more of a fragile unit than he really is. Three up in Vaughn makes yeah, him a lot tankier than solid. I thought. Um, Absolutely just, solid. I should probably throw him into combat more often because he dealt with the warriors relatively well when he was actually in combat. You mean a little bit too easy? Yeah. Um, and I found that ridiculously easy for you to just munch through them. I mean, having a thirty-inch smite range is always useful. Yes, that's that. That's the thing that that killed it. It was just the amount of smite that he was pumping out was frightening. Um, I might have. I've got a couple of rules with Cry Monster for 5 up in Von. Sorry, I was still learning it. I've only had less than half a dozen games with the army. Um, Ross and David are the Necron players on the channel. I'm slowly getting there, but I'm trying new things and different ways of playing them in ninth. Um, Demon's always fun to uh, play against because me and Rusty have had a good few games. Um, Demon's versus random different lists that we play at six, 2k. Six, six grade demons in a 2k. Yes, shush now. Um, but that was against uh, Silent Bob King. Um, not, so, not so good for me. No, um, he, he took out a great and clean one on his own um, just because. But so, uh, yeah. Uh, by the way guys, if you want to know about contrast painting, all this stuff is just done by contrast and it makes me sick. Uh, even makes picks even more sick in the background because both me and picks have tried to use contrast paint and we ju it just doesn't work for us. I mean, the Nurglings, all nine Nurgling bases were done in the space of two hours. Just using contrast. You disgust me. You disgust everybody. Two, two types of contrast paints, Casadora Yellow Wash and is it Army Painter, one of the blues, the lighter blues for the Army Painter. And it covers everything. The staff on the Lord of Change wasn't painted with contrast. No, it wasn't. That was painted by you. I know, right? I don't want my own work sullied by contrast. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll overpaint it with contrast. It's fine. Yeah. But, yeah, so it just seems that whatever we throw at uh, Rusty with, um, you can use contrast paint and actually make it work. Which, fair play. It, it, it's, um, it works really, really well. Some people can, can use it, some people can't. I'm one that's in between. I've not really tried it as yet properly, but um, the army's looking really, really good. And I know you've got other plans on route. Um, but three lords of change. Shut up now. Yeah. Three lords of change. Just, just one forward rod. <laughs> yes. Just as which it. is in transit due to a forward rod mistake, but that's it happens. Neither here nor there. Yeah, it happens. How did you find your list against? Um, things went on the, the, the mission itself. Uh, honestly, anything with objectives is good for demons because you can just stick nugglings on points. Uh, I need something to run interception on units going after the nugglings on points though. Mm. Only having one thing that's going to race up the board is probably not the best idea. No, it's just scary enough as it is. Yes, and it's just going to get shot down as soon as it goes anywhere near anything. Oh yeah, too, right? Um, so I think if I was going to change anything, I'd probably maybe drop the maybe drop the great unclean one for another keeper. May, maybe another keeper. Maybe something to run up the board, like uh, maybe blood rushes, streamers, something Please. relatively fast. I mean, the ability to because if I manage to, like, for example, if I manage to get fiends in on your wasps, yeah, there's that, no way they're getting them. They, they, they can't run away. No, they can't. And it's that that's 
at the moment on this list is scarabs and wasps are yes they are classed as wasps because as I said previously is saying anchorites uh, with speech impediment like mine um, it is difficult um, being English doesn't count as a speech shut impediment shut up now zip it you um, and I said I'll finish those um, those four drill guys um, about a day or two ago um, love the models um, and it's something completely different to the rest of the army itself and if they fit in and could even look at doing um, a full insectoid necron style list with um, the centipede, millipede, thing with many legs. Vis in, in vi visually I've always found them to be a bit of a weird fit because they are quite old designs compared to the new types. Some of them are, I mean the necron warriors are uh, uh, new stars because they are falling apart um, which I do like. Um, a lot of the, the cryptex now, the models are just stunning. Yeah. Um, I've put the Psychomancer, one of, one of the my Psychomancers together. It, it blew my mind how to actually fit it together, it was, uh, and quite a few people have said the same. But when it is together, it is stunning, and it will be. A, That's the one with the massive stuff, right? Uh, the Psychomancer is one with uh, the skull that uh, actually it's like a digital skull. Oh, yeah, yeah. On there, uh, came out about a week or two ago. I, I bought two of them because reasons um, and I just love the model and um, similar with Cryomancer when it comes out in Kilting um, when I get hold of Kilting um, is another stunning uh, model and that one you can actually do um, there's the, the cube you can actually have one of the cubes open one of the cubes closed so you can actually have, have two of them and they look different um, but other than that on my list itself to see how I can change it I don't know because I'm, I'm still using, uh, still trying out bits and pieces. Um, you need more scarabs. Don't know. I think in thousand points five is enough. Um, just another proper combat unit like um, Scorpet destroyers or the Affiliate destroyers, so that that's got some proper bites in in combat. Um, but that's for another time. But. This is going to be staying for the next couple of games in the thousand point list. Um, yeah, all well and good. Yeah, all good. So, guys, thanks for watching. Um, there's a link below for uh, mine and Rusty's game. Hopefully, we will speak to you soon. Um, like, subscribe, and check out Patreon and usual social media Facebook, um, um, Instagram, etc. etc. See what, what me and the boys are up to. Um, and hopefully she stay safe, stay safe and we'll see you on the Tabletop Assault Battle Report. See you later guys.